Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be making some summer-inspired snacks, starting with these s'mores cones, which I saw a post like of this on Facebook, and I don't remember like who made the recipe or if it was a recipe, but I just remember seeing the pictures. So we're gonna need some marshmallows, some dairy-free chocolate, and some sugar cones. If you have the tiny marshmallows, like that would totally work better, but I mean, we're gonna work with what we had. So I just chopped up the vegan marshmallows and the vegan Hershey's, which I'm so excited to try. This is my first time trying it. I actually got it for when we went camping, but we didn't end up uh, having a fire. So uh, all I did was kind of break up the chocolate and the marshmallows and alternate stuffing chocolate, marshmallow, chocolate, marshmallow into the sugar cones and then wrapped them in foil. And what's great about this is if you are doing like a campfire and you don't want traditional s'mores, you can just wrap them in foil and toss them in the fire um, or on like a grate or on the grill. Or what we're going to do is actually put them in the air fryer because when I made these, it was incredibly hot out this day and I just did not want to be outside and I thought it would be a really cool option to show that you can make a snack like this that's really summer inspired indoors if you don't have access to a fire. So I put these in the air fryer for about three minutes at 350 degrees and that seemed to do pretty well. I think if I did it again I would add a little bit more time and then I just added some graham cracker crumbs on top just to kind of aesthetically make it look pretty and this was a really tasty way to eat a s'more. Next up, we are making some sun-dried tomato and basil bagel bites with some bagel chips and fresh basil from my garden. This is a really simple snack, which you can make with little pieces of bread, crackers. I just thought the bagel chips would be a nice addition. First thing I did is kind of drain the oil off my pre-sliced sun-dried tomatoes and chopped up the basil, assembled my plate by adding my little bagel chips on there, and then just kind of dressed them accordingly, adding the basil and and the um, sun-dried tomatoes, and then drizzling some balsamic reduction on top. If you had some vegan mozzarella, that would be super delicious here, kind of like a caprese style snack with sun-dried tomatoes. And then I decided I wanted to add a little bit of fresh cracked pepper just for a smoky bite. And this was really good. This would also be really tasty on like a baguette, like if you want softer bread, but 10 out of 10, highly recommend quick and easy, no big snack. Snack. And then our last recipe is a little more in depth. We're gonna be making salad rolls because sometimes eating a salad with a fork could be boring, so why not make <laughs> spring rolls out of salad? So I had some roasted chickpeas left over in my fridge, which I seasoned with um, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and some dried dill. Uh, and then I roasted those in the oven for about a half an hour, stirring occasionally at about 400 degrees. So we are going to chop up some veg. I thought adding some sliced cucumber and carrot ribbons, which are my new favorite way to eat carrots into these would really give off salad vibes. I added some warm water to my pie pan and then I'm just using spring roll wrappers to roll these up. Um, you could totally do like tortillas if you wanted, but I thought this would be fun because you kind of kind of see through like the spring roll wrapper and kind of see what's in there. Um, and then I also wanted to add some red pepper. I cut it up. <laughs> it was in my fridge. I had done it the previous day because I was already doing a recipe and I just forgot to take it out. <laughs> so I wanted to add red pepper in, in these rolls, but I totally forgot. And uh, I actually did like a really good job rolling up this first roll, but the rest of them did not really turn out so good. But at the end of the day, like they're just gonna get eaten, so they don't have to be perfect. And I feel like the more you roll these little uh, spring roll wraps, like the easier it is. Uh, for the one that ripped, I don't remember if I just left it that way and smashed it as is, or if I uh, kind of softened another wrap and wrapped it twice. I don't remember, but uh, either way, like I had success wrapping these and they looked really cute. And again, this is just kind of a fun handheld salad option and you could use any greens, any vegetables, any protein. Uh, I've done sesame tofu in these before. Like I've done, um, 
I don't know, just whatever you want really. And then I had some pre-made ranch that I used for these and it was delicious. <laughs> and there's the red pepper. But I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite snack was. Like and subscribe when you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.